After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics final. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final, and for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? 
Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with a doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Come. Good at. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Press the V key to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. The pistol has been automatically equipped. center of the room. are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. You can holster and draw your weapon with the H key. Well done, cadet. You're not going to break the Academy record. But your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely. 
I have a new first officer. Congratulations! Yes, you should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, sir? You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass, as well as your mini-map. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. I can't believe we're finally doing this. SS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Position. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. 
But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. To sit, right click on the chair you wish to sit in. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Breakeven. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Breakeven. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Good. What do you advise? Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. Transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Z. An item has dropped for you. Move 
towards the item and press F to loot it. our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Secure this area. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of fighting us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. 
Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders... Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Pegatosa! We have target lock, Captain. Signal. What now? We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Tiger knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. Ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. Elisa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to blow my ship into space junk. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from k -Dec. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using, using Q. W and S to move up or down. Use A and D to turn left or right. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press F to interact with it. Thanks! We'd help you if we could, but I just don't see any profit in that, you know? 
Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostics shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the spacebar to fire energy weapons. Injectors will do the trick, sir. Gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow put with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. <laughs> we don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. Zarva's dealing with the warp corp. But until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tivrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it! I can trace the plasma signature right to the source! I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your depth swift! Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again.
Multiple birds of prey decloaking. Pressing Alt and 1, High Yield Torpedo will increase the power of your next torpedo attack. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. Exploding ships. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where is Captain Taggart? And did you follow his orders? So, I take it you are in command now. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth Space Dock. And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown? escort you back to Earth Space Dock, but first we must inform the USS Kittimer that... One moment. My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. 
I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth's space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You are now in center space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. Use M to open up the map for sector space. You can click on a system to plot a course and set your ship to automatically fly to it. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead, and the Renown is beside us. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Ah, Captain Bullock. Captain Taggart? What are you both doing here? Always good to follow the orders of your superior officers. These cadets were the unfortunate victims of a Klingon ambush. Captain Taggart is dead, and the ship is under the command of this cadet. The Renown was escorting them back to Earth's space dock, but when we could not raise the Kittimer, I deemed it imperative to alter our course and assess the situation. Captain Yim, what is your status? I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. The Renown has the largest science team, so I recommend we send our data there for analysis. Any questions? You can set your ship's power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, speed, or balance. indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kinnemer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. My chief science officer, Commander Davis, had suggested the same thing, but it seems you're already aware of it. Good work. We'll perform a reverse tachyon pulse wave and see if that solves the issue. Report your findings once your final scan is complete. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. 
picking up a transwarp signature. It's right on top of us! The board! Contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. The Borg were brutally efficient on the Kittimer. The emergency medical hologram may be in command simply because no one else is fit to do so. The Borg have not been seen in the Alpha Quadrant in decades. Their arrival cannot simply be a coincidence. However, I hesitate to speculate without the full data from all of the probes. I will send teams to aid the Kittimer. You will have to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. You must also inform me if you or your crew are unable to continue. The Borg evoke a strong emotional response that can rattle even trained Starfleet officers. A crew of cadets that have already survived a Klingon attack may be unable to cope. We're scared. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use them so soon. It's good that the Renown and Kittimer are here, but... I know we need to be ready for the day when we're alone against the Collective. The counselors are already working with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Understood. I'll tell the crew what you said and set a course for the next anomaly. If the Borgs show up again, we'll be ready. I have linked the Iota Point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Transmit the data, so we may begin our analysis. We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Board transwarp signatures detected. Prepare your ship for combat. They're firing. I need help.
Starfleet officers, you are prepared for this. Multiple board warp signatures detected. It's an invasion force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can... The Borg are departing, most likely for a more strategic target. Direct your fire at the remaining sphere. Focus your fire, and we shall prevail. system as a staging area for a larger invasion. Long-range sensors are already detecting inbound transwarp signatures. The most likely you must go to the Vega colony and warn them that the Borg are coming. The Renown is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kittimer. It is logical for us to remain here. We will delay the Collective, but you must warn the colonists at Vega. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn It is the imperative mission. that you warn the colony at Vega of the impending attack. We will do what we can to hold off the Borg here in Vega. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Shields up, red alert! 